Handle on Kevin Love, you held him in check, and then Channing and Tristan Thompson hurt you. How, how tough is that team to stop? Um, it's real tough. You know, the addition with Channing was great for him. You know, he spreads the floor even more. He's another shooter who knocked it down, and he's familiar with the arena. So um, <laughs> it was tough. You know, it was a tough, uh, tough loss. I thought our guys really did come to play today. You know what I mean? Uh, we were just tough. You know, too much, they had too much firepower for us. And, we just got to go into this road trip with a belief that we can are capable of winning. And I think we'll be all right. So just got to take one game at a time. How hot were you? How hot were you? Was that a cool off period? No, honestly, I think I'm hot right now. It's a little hot in here. But you just took a few shots just to see if it looked And you hit them. Yeah, I mean, the ball was just going in. Um, my shot felt great today. Um, felt like I could mix it up. Big range getting to the rim. Just got to continue to keep shooting with confidence. Still upset, really, about the fourth quarter. Can't let him really, you know, deny me like that. And uh, not let me get the ball. I got to want to demand the ball very much more. It's just something I need to learn and get better at. And just continue to keep going. Victor, what's your take on the first six minutes of that fourth quarter? That's, that was the time where the Cavaliers kind of gain some separation there with LeBron off the court? Um, I think they just did a good job of letting guys sort of make big plays, you know, offensive rebounds, uh, big threes. Kyrie hit some big shots for them as well, so uh, credit them that the guys stepped up and played. At what point today did you feel like your shot was the level it was? Was it before the shoot-around, shoot-around, pre-game, or when? When the ball started going in. <laughs> Honestly, I just... Try to have the same approach to every game. Try to get to my spots and just shoot the ball with confidence and play like a bat out of hell on defense. Victor, for those of us who've never experienced being that hot, what's that like in the moment? I really honestly I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like every time I shoot it, it's going in. Um, and that's what I've been feeling like for the past couple games. So I feel like that every game, whether I miss or not. Whenever I shoot, I feel like it's going in. So. That's my mentality now. Um, I've acquired it over the, over the months. So it is what it is. I just go out there and play hard. First two possessions of the game, you mm -hmm. went first here and Jerry Smith and knocked it out of bounds. And I think uh, in the second possession, you got a steal and you were able to, to get a layup. How much of the tone did that set? I, that's all, for that's you? all I wanted to do, honestly. I wanted to come out and set a tone. That team has been honestly been pumping us the past couple of games. And, we want to set the tone and we're not here to get pumped. You know, we're going to come and we're going to compete. I think we did a good job of that. We just got to tighten up some loose ends, especially in the fourth quarter. And just continue to keep going, getting better. In your lifetime, when was the last time you scored 45 points in a game? That's my life high. Never had anything above 45. Obviously, you wanted the victory tonight, but how does that feel considering you know, you're trying to establish yourself as a big time scoring guard in this league? It feels good. At the end of the day, you know, if you don't win, it doesn't really mean anything in this league. So, um, just got to keep working. Keep learning is the biggest thing. Uh, keep applying it to every day. Keep getting better from one day to the next. Just striving to be great. Rick, you told us last year, a couple years ago, you never scored 30 in a high school game, college game, that you were never a scorer. Does this show kind of an evolution of your game a little bit? I'm just going to keep learning and keep getting better. Hey, That's all I'm going to do. Um, I'm working hard to, to, I've worked hard my whole life to be where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'm just going to continue to keep working hard to, to get where I'm trying to go. So, just continue to keep learning. Continue to keep winning. Last to have on this trip, fourteen in the point of next year in the middle of seven we straight. Gotta, we got to bring the fight to every every game. We got to compete at a high level. We're going into hostile environments, great arenas. So we're gonna have to bring the fight. We're gonna have to be ready to play. Um, individually, each player has to tell themselves that they're gonna have a great road trip. Uh, but then collectively, we got to go out there and do it. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. Alterations or adjustments to your shooting stroke for the last year? No, but I did change my mindset. Which is what, what you lose? Every shot's going in.
how did you make that change? Was it something someone said to you? Was it something that you figured out on your own? What, how did that come about? Um, just belief, honestly. I'm working so hard, I work hard all the time. So to go out there and second guess myself, there's no point in working hard, right? So you just go out there, and just let it fly. Just have fun. You know, have fun with this game of basketball, man. When you have fun, that's when you're at your best. So that's what I try to do every day. When did you notice that change within yourself, was it? It took some time. Um, and it's still a work in progress. I feel like mentally I can keep getting stronger, keep getting better. Um, you know, I'm going to continue to keep doing that, keep learning. Just keep keep working, man. Um, just want to be great. And that's, um, that's what it takes as a process. So just got to keep believing in myself no matter what. Whether I score 45 or whether I score 5. Just got to have the same mindset. Just continue to keep doing better. Everybody good? Right. Thank you, Vic.